Hey, Tubes, how's she hanging? Oh, <laughs> that is cool. Oh, that is cool. All right, did we get a pile of goodies today? Wow. I was out there at TSC looking for, uh, figured I'm going to need a, a little door lock and hinge for this uh, tailgate for the, the leaf trailer we're building. So that one latches and then you can turn this little and then that'll keep it from flopping open. We got a four pack 18 inch bungee cords or shock cords some people call them. These are industrial bungee cords. I uh, actually got two packs of them because there's two sides. Hopefully that's enough. I think that should be lots. Hopefully. What else we get? I was going to make my own hinges and then I'm looking around all this hardware stuff and I see these and if you see these things have Hmm, can you see that? There's no holes in them for like drilling through like a door frame. These are what you call actually a weld on hinge. So I'm like, perfect. Made in China, of course. <laughs> Plain, simple, UNI, universal, I guess. So they'll just get, uh, we'll weld those on. And they're just a regular steel too, which is good. Um, now for holding this stuff, down to the trailer. I'm going to put some grommets in. Probably going to... How am I going to do that? I might use some of my other stuff. Put a piece of that on each side and then grommet through the middle so it'll give a little bit more to beat beef or whatever you call that. Bite onto. Uh, bite onto. So that's good. That's good. And uh, so these will go on the grommet and then whoosh, down onto the trail and I thought, okay, what am I going to do for that? So I just got a little box of this little chain here. And what I'm going to do is just chop off like that much of a link, flip around, weld it onto the trailer, and that'll be my little grab for hooking on to the uh, thingy. So, and I got some more of these stupid blades I keep breaking. So, should be good. We got four hinges, and uh, because I used up all my uh, my washers and stuff, I restocked up a little bit on them. So. There we go. Now all we have to do is figure out what size of a trailer gate thing we're going to need, tailgate, and uh, that's a really heavy box. Oh, this even comes with quick, includes 3 16 quick link. That's just not in there. Oh, it is. Right in the bottom. Perfect. I'm not going to use that for anything, but anyway. More than enough chain there, but it's cheaper to buy it this way than actually get them to cut a piece off a roll. So, uh, what the heck? Save me heating up some 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 round bar of something and then bending there and then wait for it to cool and then welding that on. Blah 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 blah. This will be quick and easy because I am soon running out of time. As you can see, there's leaves falling here. We got a lot to do yet to get this thing to uh, be able to suck up and bag and catch leaves. So, anyways, let's get inside. We're gonna have to probably pull the trailer out so I can get the steel laid out on the floor nice and smooth and flat and uh, be able to uh, weld her into the sheep we need. Oh, video bombed. Where'd he go? He ran through there somewhere. Where'd you go, buddy? They're there somewhere. He probably took off. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's get inside the shop. Okay, that'll sort of give you a little bit of the uh, idea of the inside there. So that actually should work pretty good once things get kind of, you know, pulled down tight and stuff and bungee on tight and you know there's resistance on both sides and <laughs> so that's actually it's going to work perfect that length of stuff because i'll be able to you know put a bungee here and then whatever length of the dewey here for the the cord uh because they were 18 inch mm -hmm. I think that should work pretty good. Hopefully, anyways, is the idea. So, um, yeah, I guess we got to push this outside for now. And I'm gonna push it and turn it uh, around so I got the back towards me. So I can see what size and measures and stuff 
And uh, okay, here we go. This really sucks because it's getting heavier every time I put more stuff onto it. So. Here we go! I don't know. I don't think this trailer is going to lift her. These hydraulics may not be good enough. I'm a little worried. <laughs> have to clear up the floor here a little bit so I got uh, a little bit better cleaner level of your spot all right I'm gonna try this new concept what they call of oh man you guys just don't do close I can't zoom out anymore I'm gonna try this new concept called writing stuff down now normally I just measure cut bang but sometimes you mess up and it's like, you know, well, I should have been, you know, 33 and three quarter. I went 33 and a half. Crap. But anyways, I'm going to try this new concept. Apparently it works good. So I know for a fact that this tailgate is six foot tall. I know these pieces were six foot tall. If I can get the hook on there and stay on there, that would be just perfect. We've got, whoa, six foot. 72 inch tall, which is what I got those other pieces cut to. So that's easy. So we're going to mark this down. Six foot tall. And wide, hopefully, is the same on both sides here. We have 37. 37 and 5 eighths wide. Actually, no, that's wrong. That is wrong. I can't do that way. I'm measuring from. See, that's why I write things down. I measure from that side to that side. Well, that's not going to. Well, that would actually work because I would have to cut it again to get the right size. But uh, anyway, we're going to basically build the same frame here again. Woo woos. So we can even actually measure the inside. This is. I'm going to say. Thirty-three and three quarter. So, write that down, 33, 3, quarter. Okay, now, hopefully at the top, uh, I can hopefully measure this. It'll go over for me. 33, and it looks like 3 quarter. Sweet. I was going to get all fancy, you know, and do like 90 degree cuts on the, on the, uh, the Dewey's there, but, eh, I don't feel that creative today, because it's already like 27 degrees out here, and it's getting freaking hotter, and I just want to weld her, hopefully get her mounted today, get her swinging, and, uh, freaking get out of here, because this is, I got nothing else to do, there's no grass to cut, she's, she's cutting bone dry, as you can see, so, we're just, making tailgate here. So anyways, let's get um, helicopter you guys over here. Holy friggin' crap, look what I almost walked into. <laughs> that is a big friggin' spider. Man, I was like, leg was like here. Like, like, like right close to him. That is one big spider. I'm usually not one for killing things, but I'll tell you, there's two things I don't mind killing. Spiders snakes so this guy is attached here now as you can see there he is he's just kind of spider-man spider-man he's just kind of kind of drooping himself down a little over there if he takes off and runs up that line all of a sudden i'm gonna totally yell and freak there he is but anyways he's he's going he's going down Sorry, buddy. One thing I can't stand, I'll tell you. Spiders and snakes. I really absolutely have no problem with a snake. If I'm mowing, if a snake runs out and I... <laughs> out the other side of them. Like, I got no problem with that. Honestly, can't do that. Sorry, bud. But he left a, 
pretty greasy stain on the floor there, but I feel a little better now. Whew. Hearts are going, boys. <laughs> Hearts are going. <laughs> okay. We're going to need our chop saw. Let's get our chop saw out here on the floor. Whew, and I'll settle down for a minute because, man, oh man, that was close. I'm glad that didn't get in my face because I probably would have freaked. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's get um, chop saw out here and um, we'll start cutting and uh, get our our 90 Deweys here. I think I should have enough of these. I should have four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's good. That's all I need. So I'll get these guys out and uh, we'll get welding together a tailgate of some sorts here. All right, so uh, one of these they cut and there's only a couple inches left, so they just give it to me. On these bars here on the right, or my other right, your other right, the left, oh my goodness. I'm telling you, it's getting too hot out there. So, uh, one of them is off a little bit. Oh, which I don't know exactly which one now, because when you're looking at all four of them, an inch doesn't really show you much. So, that one's good. That one's good. Ah, that's the longer fella there. Okay. Let's just double check the last one here on the bottom just to make sure he's 72. That's basically one whole length that they have on their shelves there. 72. Okay. So, we'll put one of those down. Now I forgot which one was the long one. I think it was this one. I'll use that for my cutting. Yeah, so. Should have ear protection. This thing is kind of loudish, but it's not very longish, which is nice. All right, here we go. We can get the next one of this one. We can. Sweet. So I actually got one extra bar. That's good because I usually do get extras. Okay, so we need to go 33 and 3 quarter. here. 
33 and three quarter. Bang on. Right, I'm happy. <laughs> Marker pencil, I always lose them stupid things. It's probably way more heavier than a door what we need, but uh, hey, you know what? She's going to be strong, that's for sure. There's not going to be any problem with that. Okay, safety glasses can come off. That's probably why I can't see nothing. That's more better. <laughs> And uh, let's get these things kind of lined up here. Good, good, I think. Ish. This stuff's still pretty grimy. With the uh, shipping grease, I guess I'll call it. or something. I wouldn't highly doubt that. These things are good, but I don't, I don't know. They're, they seem weird sometimes. I kind of wonder if my floor's a bit wonked there, though, or something. There's a high spot on the floor for sure. Okay, I'm going to have to try to move back here, I guess, so we'll maybe switch spots. Okay, everything is apparently square. And uh, hopefully good to go. I'm going to tack each corner a little bit here and then... Uh, And then, and then, we'll weld it together. I don't know why this one corner is just being weird. Don't ask me. <laughs> so I just got to live with it, I guess. It's just, just weird. It's like, I don't know. It's like rocket or something weird. Oh crap, I need gloves. Hang on a second. I need gloves. And I probably should throw on my shirt. Oops, throw on my shirt. It's gonna be really hot and suck. But uh, the other day when I was tacking the other pieces there, I guess uh, I must have been tacking a bit too much without a mask and protective gloves on. I actually had a pretty good sunburn on my face. So I'm like, oh, I think today we're gonna put our equipment on. Doesn't take much. All right, gloves on, shirts on. Really does suck. But anyways, uh, can't pick nothing up now. I think our welder's good here. Should be, hopefully, it's good here. Looks pretty good. Gas is on. Okay, let's start by doing some tacking. Takes a sec to figure out how much juice it needs there. Good. 
Hard on the knees too, need knee pads. I don't call that sunburn, I just mentioned there's actually a flash burn, welding flash burn. It's really not good for it because it's about, oh I don't know, probably a hundred times stronger than the sun burn would be. Now mind you, I was only doing it for a little bit, but, oh this one's in here real good. I was only doing it for a little bit, but a little bit puts about, oh, oh I don't know, probably about a hundred times of the sunburn. It's not very good for you, so. Okay, now we should be able to get this thing up and do some uh, structural welding to it. Now I'm wondering if I should put a cross member in the middle too. I got the piece here uh, just for hanging boards on. Hmm. Really don't want to add much more weight to it, but. I think I probably better have something on it, so. But I'll do a little more structural welding here to it first. So why is that one's I don't know. Maybe there was something on the floor. I don't know. It was clean, but I don't know.
tops, ends, and stuff, that's probably not needed, because then it might have clearing clearance issues when it's closing or something. But anyway, so holy friggin' crap, it's hot in here. <laughs> Woo! Okay, what we're gonna try now, let's get these layers off. Holy Hannah. Shwetty. Okay. That one off. Let's crack the door open here again. And uh, I really probably should put a support in the middle. Boy, but um, I mean, already it's going to be heavy enough. Holy crap. But at least way back there, it's going to help lift the trailer. Not really help, but it'll counterbalance a bit. So maybe, maybe I will put a, a thing in the middle here. Uh, yeah, I probably, probably should. I just think that's kind of too big for a single piece there. It'll kind of go, whoa, 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 weird. But I don't exactly know how I'm going to mount the stuff here yet. I haven't got like a full sheet now to mount it. But um, that's like a half. What else I got left here? Almost make it, but not quite. Hmm. Well, it's either that or I mesh it, but I don't think I'm going to mesh that. It's got to be fairly much solid back there, I think. So, oh, maybe I better. I guess I could go either way with the support. I could go up the middle too. That might be better because then I could put two. Down like that, down the middle, screw it to that. Okay, maybe I'll do that. It's going to add a lot more weight to it, but really once it gets tipping, that's going to be pulling back and kind of helping counterbalance things a little bit. It doesn't actually have to lift this. So if we went... This dewy here. We'll cut one of those to get that welded in and uh, see how we're looking then. All right, we got her in. She's a little snug, but I don't think it's going to hurt much. I think it should tap into position. I got her mark 17 in the middle. kind of sort of like that. Let's just check and see if we're in square or not here. Not too bad. A little out. Not too bad. Let's see this ends over here again. Good. Close enough. I'm happy with that. So let's get our clothes on again and we'll weld this up. All right, here we weld. Here we weld to take the day.
Nice. Now, probably Wetterwell's putty better pet pet <laughs> Probably should weld well, wow, well the other side. Pity way we wouldn't wear well the other side. Time to get more food. Anyways, here we go. to the trailer and put her on with some clamps I guess or something see how she looks oh we can't get her all in the shot that's not good maybe I made her too big <laughs> so I got a little thingy set up here on a bucket hopefully she'll rest on and then I can get her kind of in place where I want her and then I got the uh, uh, whatchamacallum do dewies there now I should get them kind of preset do what I want because it's going to make it a little bit easier. Should get that one. These ones actually might be a little small. They're a six. So they are only a four inch. Oh, that's why. Two plus two makes four. I think. Yeah, it does. We just get. So that. Uh, that's a switch one here, I think. Okay, we've got two big fellers for the back here. Let's grab this huge monstrosity. It probably should let it cool a little more because it's probably still pretty warm, but. I want to see how we're looking. Oh, that sounded a little more weight, boys. I don't know. That might be too much. That might be too much weight. <laughs> Welding. Well, I'm gonna try something here. Didn't really want to 
want to get it twisted, but I bet you it's probably from that floor. It's probably from the floor, otherwise the stuff was twisted when I got it. That, you know, could have happened too. She got bent or something when they're unloading it or... I could have got the crappy bend. Yeah, she's a little twisty. Well, that's not so good. Probably my floor. Probably my floor. But, now where the heck's the twist? <laughs> hmm. twisted when I uh, welded this one in the center. I bet you that's what it did. I bet you that's what it did. Now I'm going to get a straight edge. Let's see where she's twisted on me here. Let's see if I can find a decent straight edge here. Well, I'm not too sure exactly what happened here, but it could be probably because of my floor. I, I know I was having some issues with it, but we got her good here. And stuff. But then over here, you can see the gap we got there. So we must have got a little bit of a heat heat issue happening there. So, ah, oh, that sucks. But anyways, not too sure. I think I'm actually going to put the hinges on this side. So when I get off my tractor, walk back here, release it. Actually, no. I think I'm going to weld them on this side. So I'll walk over here, release this. Open her up, tie her back. And then I can just walk on, dump her, drive ahead, and then latch her back I'm gonna get the torch it maybe and see if I can kind of tweak that a little bit more heat her up down on the joints maybe a little bit and see if she'll kind of back over heat her back on like the this side of this and then it might tweak itself back a little bit that one and probably this one needs a little bit here and there but uh, I think I got this pretty much where the hinges will go so let's just grab a hinge have a looky see at these They're actually a little big, but I think that should work. Now, what happens if you did it like this? It would actually open up away from itself. But I better, I better put her there, I guess. So I'll get, uh, I'll get these welded on here, I guess. Probably won't film that because it's going to take me a few minutes and a little bit of messing about here. Get the measuring stuff where I want them. One up there, and two, three, and then four or something. But uh, anyway, I'll get these welded on, and then hopefully she's going to swing open. All right, we're just tacking on the last of our hinges here. And uh, we're gonna see if she's gonna swing for us. Okay, that should be good. Let's try a swing here. Let's undo this. Ooh, she's got the momentum. Alright. Let's see if we run into any problems here. Hopefully that's okay when she dumps. This should technically kind of raise up a little bit so you know I guess the tractor is not that far away we could uh, we could do a test dump here so let's grab the tractor peel the clothes all off again here holy crap and uh, let's see how she's gonna dump all right the first big dump test uh, I won't be able to watch back here because I'm gonna have to run my controls but anyways so we're gonna give her a shot Oh, sure. 
I don't think there's going to be very many leaves that'll be able to stay in there, especially when I drive away and dunk, 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 you know, and dump her out. I'll, I'll start, try to simulate that here too. that uh, angle really doesn't change much on that uh, on that door frame so that's pretty good so you can handle that no problem now if you put another 400 pounds of leaves I think it'll be all right this whole thing probably weighs 250 maybe maybe pushing 300 I don't know I don't know if I could like physically lift it up myself or we're gonna need some kind of tractor probably helping lifting things somehow of some sort um, now, I didn't put any hooks on her anywhere yet for lifting so I'll have to figure that out when I want to get her off I guess but I think that should be pretty good I just got to work on that door and tweak her a little bit see uh, if I can get her kind of to bend bend into the frame of the trailer more not too sure why it's done that it's kind of Ticked me off a little bit, but I don't really want any leaks back there because that stuff's going to be blowing through and then hitting her. So I kind of don't want her just to go out of the side, right? So I'll have to uh, maybe torch it a bit here. See if I can tweak her back a bit or I don't know. I'll have to figure out something. Either that or we'll have to uh, just close her here again for a sec. I think I might put some kind of bar system that locks door to over there that'll be uh, definitely solid solid uh, what I might have to do to get this door to work which I guess it might be easier to do it this way what I'm thinking is cut it get this undone hang on a sec here like a relief cut I guess you would call it 
Holy crap. Do like a relief cut. So let's close this up here again. Wow. It's going to need a big relief cut. <laughs> Maybe I'll try heating her a bit first, but I don't know if that's really going to do a whole lot, heating her. You might think it's the welds holding it up, but it's not because I ground them all smooth. I don't know if you can quite see off the tripod there, but let me show you here. I ground, ground them all smooth, so it's not the welds bubbling up on each other like you can see. I've smoothed these all down nice and, and smooth, right? So she's just got a little bit of a, like we're good where the hinges are, but just down at the bottom there, she's a little bit de-tweaked. And she's got a pretty big gap up here, so I don't sort of so much like that, but um, <sighs> yeah, I don't know what to say about that. What I what I might have to do is do like a relief cut through here, try to push her back, which is probably going to need one on here now too. Shove her back and then weld the the hole shut again. At least then she'll be solid, but. I might try heating her a bit just on the back side here, the rosebud torch. Let her sit and then see if she'll shrink and pull back. It might, it might make it worse. I don't know, hopefully it doesn't go worse, but uh, let me grab my torch out and we'll see what's gonna happen with that. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna do anything. I'm gonna try her and see here. I can get the torch fired up. I haven't used this thing for a while. Holy. Might have my heat just above my weld. It probably was my floor. I don't think this floor is perfect. Holy cow, that one's going. gonna do anything I'm probably gonna have to cut it and then and then re-weld the front you know what I mean I'll cut it cut it down here and here probably and then push the top in hopefully she might need one more cut I don't I don't know it's gonna it's gonna be a pain in the rear end it's probably because of my stupid floor something just didn't feel right on it I, I don't know 
but um, hopefully that'll cool down there and then uh, she'll she'll kind of warp back that way and kind of tweak herself back so pretty sure that's the right side I'm working on because I want to want it to bend in um, let me just have another look at her here maybe Should kind of tweak her back. I, I don't know if it's going to do that though, but I kind of I have my doubts, but I'm going to let her sit there for a bit. Let her chill. I'll go grab maybe a bite to eat and then we'll check her when we come, come back. I really kind of have my doubts here on, on not doing anything. But, uh, boy, that sucks. Something, something's definitely not right though. I'll have to think about it though, exactly where to cut if I have to cut because I think if I cut the bottom here and here, I should be able to push this thing back, square that side up again, and then just weld closed the cuts. That should, that should fix it. But we'll let the heat do its thing and see what happens. All right, we're back. No, that did not help at all, unfortunately. Boo-hoo. So I got a clamp on the top there. I'm just going to try to do a small relief cut psh, psh, down here and see see what happens. Uh, I don't really think this is the right thing to do, but uh, I'm sure as crap not taking it all apart again just for that. So Okay, we got the plasma here. I'm just going to do a relief cut here and... Uh, Hopefully it'll just kind of spring and then stay where I want it to and then I can just weld her shut again. Hopefully. Zoomed in at that bottom corner, haven't you? My bad, sorry. Okay, let's uh, try another couple of little relief cuts here. I'm trying to just relax it a little bit, and I can just weld her back shut again.
dirty thing. what I wanted just a little bit of tweaking a little bit of tweaking so sorry for the, uh, the zoom in and forgot about you kind of thing but uh, now I think we got her she's good all the way up we just need a little tweak in there and uh, it's actually not opened it up that much so I guess I'll just sew those back together and hopefully uh, I'll probably uh, put the clamp on there And I'll sew, sew those back up and then uh, I think we should should be good. Now where did it actually pull? It looks like it pulled on the top there. So that one was going off a little bit I'm thinking. So instead of being square this way it must have been going that way a bit. That kind of makes sense. So anyways we'll get that sewn back up and then uh, we should be, uh, should be good I think. I don't think she'll leak a whole lot there now but uh, anyways. Uh, I'm gonna have to get all suited up and crap, but I won't film the sewing that back up here. Whew, okay, I'm getting really hot out here. This really sucks. But anyways, we're glued back together here in our new position. Mm. It shrunk in a little bit on me again, but I think I can. Uh, I think I can be all right maybe with that unless it goes more. Hopefully it doesn't go more. Guess I should have tweaked that thing and left her kind of squished and then and then uh, welded her. But she may uh, she may go a little more <laughs> yet again. She might she might twist back in. But it's, it is a lot better than it was. So I'm going to well I should probably wait till it cools. My bag of goo here. This guy. I want to put that on for the lock. Huh. Uh, apparently I'm going to have to hack it open. Oh, uh, this is just a day of failures, boy, for frig's sakes. <laughs> Frickin' lock, this isn't going to work. Because <laughs> you have to have it open like this, so you have to have clearance for this little last to, 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 to clear. Well, because this thing's heavy and it's going to slink back, I've got a little bit extra play here now. So, for freak's sakes! <sighs> Frickin' figures, eh? I never even thought of that. Never even thought of it. And you can't snug this thing and leave it tight because then you won't get 
that off if you know what I mean, right? So, oh, so I'm gonna have to cut all that crap off. I'm gonna have to build, I think, my own lock for it. What I'm thinking is, uh, let's close this here again just for a sec. What I'm thinking is a something where I can close it and then, you know, like screw it kind of closed with like a nut and some wing thingies on it. So I'll be able to screw it and then as I screw it, it'll hold it tight against this piece. So for freak sakes, now I got to cut that off. Oh man, this has just been a freaking day of, I need to go home. I've had enough, got to go home. But anyways, I'm going to get this cut off and uh, oh, for freak sakes, that really ticks me off. Never even thought of that. Looked at it there, I'm like, oh yeah, that'd be cool because I can just, you know, like latch it and then turn the thing and then it won't fall open. It won't just pop off. So uh, yeah, this, that's apparently not going to work. Yeah, my bad. But okay, anyways, let's get that stupid thing cut off of there again and scrap that for frig sakes. Brr. Okay, here's the plan. This is gonna get welded onto the trailer. Now this is an old railway nut, big huge lock nut. Fits in there, woo. Get on there. So that'll get welded on there. I don't know if I'm gonna weld this to the nut yet, the bolt. Uh, Probably won't, but uh, anyways. And this will get welded onto the door, so when the door closes it should. And I can have a nut on here and just tighten her down. Oh, hopefully this will work. Okay, right in about here somewhere we're going to do this welding. I guess I better put my, my coat on. This is going to be some fairly beefy welding. Make sure I crank the machine up just a hair. A little more heat to get through this big crap. Not so much on the trailer, but hopefully I get all this aligned. Now it's actually closed where I want it now with that clamp. So I'm just going to pull my ear dewies out too. Okay. We are clothed. Sun rain thingies. <laughs> so this is kind of quite cheesy, but I think it should work. Okay, that should give me lots of thread. It's not a good longer bolt, that's why I kind of didn't really want to weld that thing right in. I didn't really clean up those ends too well. I think I might. Just give me one second here. I'm going to clean off these, these ends a little bit. Okay, hopefully I don't sort of kind of block you here too much. I can't really put the camera anywhere else right now, so... Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. A fair bit of bite under that, so somewhere there. I'm just going to go underneath it here. I forgot to grab a friggin' nut. So let me go grab a friggin' nut. Alright, well there's our Dewey. There we go. 
and uh, seems to work, but it's still smoking hot, so I haven't really tried her yet. thing up a little more, but anyways, if I do, I do, I guess. It's not exactly the way I wanted to do it. I wanted to have a thing where I could just flip it open, but then I'd have to drill and make things, and I'm like, no, this this will work for, you know, probably about the 10 frickin' piles or tray loads I'm going to get now. That's all I'm going to need, so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to weld that on there. I think uh, if I need to uh, adjust it, I guess get my little burr tool out there and I'll do that. I gotta hold it. Probably gonna need some adjustment now. Not too bad, actually. Okay, that'll do. Alright, so next I want to get thinking about the chain stuff here. Uh, all that stuff's cool. What I'm going to try to do is just clip them. Clip the end with my uh, my big deweys here. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, you're pretty much in your shot there. Give them a clip of this and I want to I cut them in half, but I wouldn't mind a little extra kind of eye there. But I think this is going to leave them as a sharp kind of point which sort of does but I guess I could smooth that off and that'll get welded onto the trailer and then I'll be able to hook my my deweys onto there so now I gotta think one there one two three five six so maybe cut six Okay, so what the idea is of this now is these will get welded, uh, not 100% sure yet, but somewhere like this. And those will hold down the bungees that are attached to the to the things up there. But I got to kind of get that ready first maybe before I do these because I don't know exactly know where those are going to have to go on yet because, well, I don't know how much stretch I want to put in these bungees, right? And how far down this stuff's gonna actually come. The orange stuff, the top stuff. I also gotta put a skin on this door yet too, which, yeah, sucks. So, um, yeah, still some work yet to do. <laughs> after that, we're not too, too much further. I just uh, pretty much, what do we gotta do after that? Not too much, really. We just gotta get the chute mounted on the mower with some hose to the thing that'll mount back here. And it goes through the thing and then shoots up and then up and into there somewhere. So that should work pretty good. But uh, I'm going to do a bit of work on this uh, 
top cover thingy here. It's going to be a pain in the rear end, so I'm probably not going to film that. And I did bring my grommet maker. I'll show you that maybe when we get to that step, but measuring and cutting is kind of crappy and boring, so um, let me work on that. Actually, what time is it? I'm probably out of time anyway for today. Five o'clock. I'll work, work on it a little bit now, half an hour, see how far I can get. And uh, maybe tomorrow we'll uh, continue on then. All right, so I got a piece cut here, and uh, we're firing in some grommets. These uh, are grommets here. Those things, you push them together and they squish together. And I cut some of this other orange stuff just to reinforce it a little bit. And I measured in... What did I measure in? Uh, 11 inches from the front. This, uh, these grommets are cool. The one here goes from the bottom. And the big hatty looking one goes on the top. And so I measured in 11, 15 on the back because there's a little extra for the door. So that can go up there. Slide one of these underneath. Slide one on top. And that's squishing them together and cuts your material there too, so that should just pop all out of there now. Grommet number one. And I might even glue those with something too just to kind of reinforce it. I don't know. Let's try her out and see how she works. And at 11 inches again. That's about there. Put her hat guy in. Bottom thingy. It's really hot out here. Go away, mosquito. I ain't got time for your crap. Okay, that should hopefully be grommeted. Not too bad. Okay, now let's kind of roughly get her on the uh, trailer here and see how she's looking. Hopefully I haven't cut her too small. That would suck. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing on here for now and see how we're looking. Oh, I'm going to have to mark front and back too. I think I know from looking at it, but I'm not forgetting. Oh, where'd this one go? <laughs> so, let's, uh... Open up our door. Here comes the motorcycle sensor guy. side get one uh, bungee duty on here uh, I've got to close the door now actually is that gonna work I don't have to right close it I guess yet Okay, I need a couple more bungees. Bungee! Bungee! Not that I got 
got a couple of spares. I think that's going to work. Hopefully. <laughs> Better after all this work, eh? It's pretty tight on there. I don't think it's going to leak out. And like I was saying, I might need one at the back here just to hold her from coming out and out the back kind of thing. So throw our locker nut on. Well, actually, if I do it right, once I got my board on here, Do this right. Got hung in there, and she wouldn't come out. <laughs> that would work. Once we get the skin on the back here, now it's going to hit there and just kind of not come out. So yeah, that that might work. Doesn't look all that greatish, but. You know, for the girls I date, I think they'll love it. I think they'll love it. Which, you know, I don't date girls because I'm married. So, yeah, I think, I think that's about right. Let's just have a little looky-see here. Doesn't look very good back here, but... Along here, we've got about the same droopy. It's pretty tight up in here. It'll really have to blow hard, I think, to get out. Um... Along the front, it might need another bungee, but I gotta remember too, my, my hose has gotta come somewhere in here and then <laughs> dump through. I haven't quite figured all that out yet. So that, that might blow through here maybe a little bit, but probably by the time it gets up there, it's probably pretty much full anyways. I think that's definitely gonna work. That one's not very tight though, that's interesting. I wonder if this one's not tight. Got a little bit there. Well, I did all these the same distance, so if that's a little loose, just put a knot in her, and then that'll take up the extra dewy. So, I think that should mostly all work. Now I just gotta skin the back of that, and oh, we gotta finish welding on these. A little bit more. This thing needs a little bit more yet, too. But I'm not gonna get to that today. Tack with it, I'm done. I'm beat. <laughs> it's been a long, friggin' hot day, so, anyways, we're looking pretty good. Anyways, that's about her for today. I don't think I had a big tractor out. No, I didn't today, so that's good. Um, oh yeah, but what a, what a freaking difference this cylinder made. Holy crap. And this big bucket on there, no stalling at all. I was trying my hardest too, and there was no way. It just curled right up and ripped it out of her again. <laughs> Jammed her down as hard as I could. Really tried to get her stuck with the, uh, the boom crowd there, cylinder, and uh, crowd boom cylinder, and uh, just tear her up and out of gone. Looks like nothing, so. I kind of think that's solved. Yay! <laughs> Yay! So anyways, I'm heading home because I'm freaking beat. <sighs> Didn't work all day on that thing. I did some other crap too, but uh, oh, the freaking heat today is just like, really? Go away. <laughs> too much heat. Don't like you. So I uh, might, uh, might turn on the uh, AC in the uh, trailer here. Maybe stay in there tonight because it's pretty freaking hot out here. Our house is weird because it's been nice all day, cool all day, nice all day, but then this time of day, the temperature starting to go down outside, and all the heat just goes oh, into the house. I don't know why it does that, I have no idea, it really ticks me off, but uh, basically to keep it from doing that, we gotta run our window air conditioner like all friggin' day, so it's like, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so, let's go into this trailer here. Crap, I even picked the right key this time. Let's jump in the trailer. Oh, it's pretty warm in here. And uh, we're gonna turn this on here, get her chilling. Chilling. 63. I don't want to go in it that cold. 68, maybe. Okay. And that's chilling. 
make sure all our windows are closed. That one's closed. Ooh. That one's closed. Got a trim piece I gotta fix here. Oh, I don't know if I can reach this one. That one's closed. And I opened the vent up here too, I think. Oh, that didn't help much. But we'll crank that baby down. Feels like some cool air coming. Now, answer me a question, you RV guys. Okay, this thing's got two sides. So there's a, a, a vent here, a vent here. Vent here, vent here, one in that bedroom. One in front of the bathroom, one here, one here. Okay, so this whole side blows pretty good air. Not. this whole side doesn't blow hardly any air a little bit but not much so this whole entire left side doesn't blow very much air but this side does so I don't know if something's blocked up somewhere or what uh, we are on we're in high cool right now so I mean that should be fire in the air out but it doesn't seem to be out of this whole rail side here so I don't know what's going on there if there's something blocked somewhere feels like it draws the same both sides but I don't know if you know let me know because then I can rectify that and fix that maybe there's a stupid bird nest or something wedged in there I don't know so anyways that is that and I am gonna lock my truck too I better lock my uh, tailgate stuff from this morning too because I think that's still open want to see something really awesome I'm gonna show you something really awesome here in a second just lock this up here the other morning or the other day somebody and Dylan says he said he saw them it was two girls younger girls came walking through with shopping carts and just conveniently left them for me at my front gate one's from Canadian Tire the red one the other one's from Walmart why they left them there I don't know but I'll tell you another little story. Here's a good one. Could be these same two girls. I don't know. But this was about five years ago, six years ago maybe now. I was working out in the garage kind of like I was today. I seen these two. They walked in from the road. In here, in here, in here. Right up sort of past my garage there with a smaller shopping cart than that. Full of like clothing and stuff. I'm like, uh, where are you going with that? Oh, we're just going up through here. I'm like, why would you do that? And they never really responded. They just kind of kept going, you know? I'm like, I'm like, uh, I said to them, you're not gonna get too much further than those trees with that. You realize that, right? Like that's all like grassy and foresty and bushy and stuff. Oh no, we'll be fine. We're pushing it through. I'm like, no you're not. So I thought, you know, about this time of day, uh, nightish time, I thought, well, I'm gonna take a walk back, see how far they got with that. Sure enough, I get, maybe like a tennis ball throw from where I told them to the back there and I see the shopping cart and they clothes scratted all over the place they'd kick the crap out of this cart and smush it all flat I'm like holy friggin crap oh so I bet you it could be the same two friggin knobs I don't know friggin people like really so now I gotta what am I supposed to do with these like take them back I guess but it's like holy crap first of all it's friggin theft from Canadian Tire and Walmart Shopping carts aren't cheap. I know they're like about 450 bucks a piece, roughly, depending on how elaborate they are. And it's like, you just stole like enough to probably get charged with, like, duh. So, I don't know, I guess I could throw them in the back of my truck and then I'll get caught, oh, what are you doing with those? And I'm returning them. But maybe I'll just haul them to the end of the road tonight when it's dark and leave them, I don't know. But anyway, so I gotta go get cleaned up. I'm a little dirty as is round two today. I've already cleaned once, so. Anyways, I'm really beat too. Need a drink of water. Holy crap, it's hot and thirsty out here. So, anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching. And tomorrow we might be doing some more fab on that. I don't really know yet. We'll see uh, See what happens. But see how hot it is too. I might tell, tell that freaking trailer to frig off tomorrow. I don't know. But anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you later.